guys, it's Grace, and today I'm going to be doing the Disneyland tag, and I didn't hear about it until Subway Mouse posted it, or Erica, like, a few days ago or whatever, and then my friend Savannah posted it, and she tagged pretty much everyone, so I was like, I'm gonna take this opportunity to do the tag because I really wanted to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, which Disney parks have you visited? And I have only visited Disney World in Florida, but I really wanna go to Disneyland and I really wanna go to all the other like ones in the other countries or whatever. Number two, what is your earliest park memory? My earliest park memory is when I was four years old and we went to a character breakfast and my dad's company, um, let the moms and kids or whoever go to the breakfast because we were there on a business trip and Cinderella found out that I was dressed up as Cinderella and I was towards the back and she was supposed to come in the front but she came in the back and she bent down to me and she's like hello I'm Cinderella who are you and I told her I was Grace and then she walked me all the way to the front you know and all the kids were like and I was like and my mom was in the back like taking all these pictures. Number three what is your favorite park and I think this means like park within Disney World which is what I'm gonna say um and I really can't pick a favorite but I think my top two would probably be um Epcot and Magic Kingdom just because Magic Kingdom is so magical and Epcot's more of a laid-back park but it has some really cool experience things there number four which on-site hotels have you stayed up and I think my only one is um Pop Century because we've only stayed on property once I believe yeah what is your favorite Disney holiday photo? And I really don't have any holiday photos because we only go, we normally go in the springtime, but I do have a photo and it's right back here. And this is when my choir, last time I went, we actually sang at Disney World for a competition. And so I'm right there in the corner. I was so afraid I would fall off the stage um, in the risers, but we went for a competition. And so this is actually like, it was kind of like a holiday for me, right? I mean, I mean, it's like with friends or whatever. Number six, what is your favorite castle? And again, I've only been to Disney World, but I do love Cinderella's castle because it's just that magic where when you come up on the boat, you know, from the parking lot and you see Cinderella's castle for the first time, it's like, I always get tears in my eyes. You know, I'm just like, oh, I'm at Disney World. Number seven, what is your favorite land or area? And I would probably say Fantasyland just because I feel the most magic there, you know, it's just kind of like, Woo, magic. Number eight, what is your all-time favorite ride? Again, I have a lot of favorite rides because last time we went to Disney World um, with my choir, I was a, like, I freaked out over roller coasters, but my friends pressured me to go on them. And so um, my favorite ride, I would probably say is Expedition Everest. And that's the ride I got pressured to go on first because that was my childhood fear ride actually. And um, my friends wanted to go on it, so I was like, okay, I'll go on it, you know, I'm gonna face my fears, so I went on it, I cried the first time, and then they're like, we're gonna go again, Grace, you don't need to go, and I'm like, no, I'm going, like, I'm over my fear now, and that's actually my favorite right now, and I went four times that day because there was no wait in line all day. I love that one in Animal Kingdom, and I also love the Kali River Rapids. Magic Kingdom, I was pressured into going on Space Mountain, but I kind of willingly pressured myself, you know? And I went with two of my friends and they were both like, Grace, you're gonna love it. And I screamed in their ears the whole time and they hated me for it. But afterwards, I really loved the ride. Epcot, I, I've never gone on any of the big rides at Epcot actually because the lines are just so long for them. But I don't really think I have a favorite ride at Epcot. Hollywood Studios, I would probably say <laughs> Rock and Roller Coaster or Tower of Terror, even though I got off the Tower of Terror and we went from there to the um, speedway, like the theater area for the lights, motor action, I think that's what it's called. And from Tower of Terror to there, I cried the entire way and I was hyperventilating after Tower of Terror because I was so freaked out by it. And then Rock and Roller Coaster, I got sick on it because I didn't take my Dramamine before I went on it and my medicine had just worn off so I got sick for like an hour. But both of them were really good. Number nine, what is the most underrated ride? There's probably a lot and I'm not thinking of them right now, 
but I really love the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in um, Magic Kingdom. That is one of my favorites, and I really think that it's underrated because a lot of people talk about the big roller coasters a lot, but I really like that one, so I would probably say that one. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, the, uh, oh gosh, I don't know the name of it. The Primaville Wheel, that's what it's called. Number 10, what is the most overrated ride? I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this. Space Mountain? maybe or tower of terror just because they're both really good but the lines are really long for them sometimes and like i would much rather go do another ride more than likely than that one you know just because i don't know i feel like they're like a lot of other rides but they're not at the same time you know i don't i don't know i don't know i think all of them are really good number 11 what is your favorite show or parade and mine is phantasmic at Disney Hollywood Studios for sure because that is the one that I remember watching growing up and I love just like the magic in it and stuff you know and when Maleficent comes out I'm always just like I'm I get that kind of scary you know but it's like the magic in it that you're like okay well Mickey's gonna save the day now number 12 do you enjoy meeting characters and I love meeting characters that's one of my favorite things to do number 13 which characters have you met and who is your favorite <sighs> I've met a lot of characters. I can't even begin to name them all. So I'm actually going to talk about meeting Peter Pan now because I've never really had a video talking about this, but I think I'm going to now. So this is my picture. Well, this isn't like the actual picture, but this is my favorite picture from when I met Peter Pan. And I actually got him to record something for my YouTube channel, so that's why my phone's there. But Peter Pan was actually, he's been my favorite character for a really long time, and I never got to meet him until this last time. So I had a Disney app that tells you, I'll link it down below, but I had a Disney app that tells you when characters are going to be where, like what time and stuff. So we were in Adventureland, and I made my mom, aunt, and sister all run with me to Fantasyland so we could get in line to meet Peter Pan and we met him I got up there and I almost died like I think I almost cried in line I was so excited for it but then he talked to me he was really nice and he took the time to talk to everyone you know and um he was just really sweet and of course I mean he's Peter Pan you know but um he recorded something for my YouTube channel and he thought he got stuck in my phone so I will link that video down below too and you can check out my entire trip um from last April and May down below 14 what is your favorite restaurant and I would say the sci-fi drive-in restaurant in Hollywood Studios because every time I've gone there since I was a toddler we have made it a point to go to sci-fi. Number 15, do you have any Disney traditions? And um, the sci-fi restaurant is always a tradition. Always taking a picture in front of the castle. I mean, that's pretty much a given, but I don't really rem Oh, I do have one. Um, I have a tradition of buying stuffed animals every time I go to Disney World. Number 16, what is your most fond Disney Park memory? And that sounds very sophisticated, but um, my most fond memory would pretty much just be my entire trip last time I went. I was with my best friends and we got to go and do a bunch of rides and be teenagers, but we still were in the most magical place in the world. So that was just a really fun trip. And then I had my aunt, my mom, and my sister there too. So that made it really fun because I still have family there and stuff. And I got lucky and I roomed with them instead of a bunch of friends. So I got a lot of sleep. Number 17, what is your favorite thing that you've bought in the Disney parks? And again, I have bought a bunch of stuffed animals there, but as much as I love them, that's probably not my all time favorite thing that I've bought there. But last time I made it a point to buy these ears because I never got sparkly mini ears before and I have always loved them and I've seen a bunch of pictures on Instagram and Pinterest and all that and I've just always loved the sparkly ears so I made it a point to save my money and buy them. And then the next thing is actually, this is a postcard that I got last time. It was like $4 but I got it in one of the t shops on Main Street in Magic Kingdom and I got this because I didn't know what I was going to use it for at first, but then I, when I got home, I realized, well, I realized now that it's dusty, but I realized that it looked like a mat for a picture. And then this is actually Walt Disney. This is the bare ground before they started building anything on it in Magic Kingdom when they first started building Walt Disney World. And then in the background, this is a faded picture of Cinderella's castle once it was finished and then this is Walt walking on it and I just thought it was one of the most magical things you know in a picture that a picture could capture and I really loved it so I ended up putting it in this frame and this frame stays on my dresser and I see it every day and I actually have my tiara that hangs on it every day. Number 18 is the last question it says describe your dream Disney holiday. I've thought about this a lot but I would probably say and I know this ever happens because it's Disney World and Disney World is expensive, but if Disney World could be free, that would be amazing. But I would say my dream Disney day would probably be to where I could go to all four of the parks 
and have the time to go through and do all I want to do, you know, in a day, but still not be tired because Disney is tiring if you go, you know, but um, do that and then meet all my favorite characters, get to meet Peter Pan again. Um, I'd love to meet Wendy Darling from Peter Pan too because I've never, well, I think I may have met her before, but I was like four, so I don't remember it. And then probably I want another cronut because the cronuts are amazing. And then the chocolate and vanilla swirl ice cream. Um, you can get it in Tomorrowland. I know that for sure. And then you can get it in Animal Kingdom. You can get it in all the parks pretty much. But I actually ate that for dinner, Magic Kingdom night before the parade because I had a late lunch and then I had snacked around. So I wasn't that hungry. But the ice cream's amazing. So I would probably say get to eat all my favorite food and not get really full from it, you know, and then meet all my favorite characters, do all my favorite rides and get to go to all the parks and get to be with my friends again, probably in my family. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a magical day. Bye.